I believe that press conference is ready. Let's listen in now. Uh, do have an update as far as injuries. We did have one injury that was transported to the Queen Anne's ER. We told it was non-life threatening. It was some type of puncture wound, uh, but it's been the only transport our EMS crews have done. We want to emphasize, which is very important, that people shelter in place and do not leave their homes until we get the power situation taken care of. We must treat, if anybody leaves their homes, they must treat any down line as if it was hot. We've been told by the power company that uh, two of the main transmission lines were taken out during the storm, and it's going to be a significant amount of time until they can get it back up. Delmarva Power has full sources out here, and they do have mutual aid responding into a system. We currently are estimating about 8,000 residents that do not have power at this time, and it's basically Route 8, uh, 50 corridor, all the way down to the, the bottom of Kent Island. It's out of power right now. Uh, we also want to inform the public, especially in the Bay City area, people that have home generators to make sure that their generator is running on the outside. Some fire department officials found some generators running on the inside of people's homes. That's very dangerous to so make sure that their generators are on the outside. Also be aware if you're running a generator or generator operations, it can backfeed the power lines and it will make the power lines hot even though the power's off. So again, be very careful of power lines that are down and we ask everybody to stay in their homes. Citizens that live on the south part of Ken Island, if they don't need to travel north of Ken Island today or travel on Route 8, we ask them to stay home. Anybody who does not have to go to work today, we ask them to stay home. We're trying to keep the traffic at a minimum on Route 8 and keep it open for our uh, public safety responders. I think that's it. So I'll open it up for questions if anybody's got any questions. Based on what you've seen in daylight, um, do you have a better sense of the, of the grouping of the damage and how extensive it is? Right now we do not have that. As I was walking down here, they were just getting ready to go out and do the grid searches. So by the next update, I'll be able to give you a little more detail on the exact damage. Uh, one question somebody asked us when we were down here before, when can you go in and actually film? As soon as we deem it safe on the power line situation, we'll, we'll let you guys in there to, to take a look around and actually film what's going on. Uh, but right now it is just not safe to go back there. What is the National Weather Service coming to do there to walk about? That I'm not sure. We've been in direct contact with the Weather Service, uh, but I do not know when they're actually going to respond on site. Any other questions? We're going to come back in about an hour, give you another update, and then we'll play it by ear from there. Thank you. So I'm hoping to have a lot more detail in an hour. Any other questions? Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. So that was the live update from Kent Island. And if you are leaving Kent Island this morning, you heard those down power lines, the trees that are down. I've seen a lot of debris reports. So Route 8 was one of the areas that seems to be pretty much closed throughout uh, a lot of areas on Kent Island. It didn't even map it out for you because there's just so many road closures there.